what what is what even is that I don't and then this a thousand manpower <laughs> that is hilarious that is absolutely hilarious time to go to war with Switzerland though got a couple provinces that I want negative uh, 30k negative three and a half K see I fix it <laughs> fixing problems since 1444 Also about high time I went to war with Austria again, is I need to eradicate these. Who are your allies? Yeah, no one special. Mm, that's gonna be a pain in the dick without allies though, so let's not. Yeah, we're planning to fight France too, so it's like... I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. Do you have a claim on Wad? You don't. Ah, these provinces are nice and reformed. Good. Yeah. Looks like it'll, it'll get fixed though. These people are attacking it. He's like, I'm gonna cut a hole through to the Black Sea. As I want a warm water port. to wait for my course to finish and then we need to quickly declare war in Austria
If I was gonna fight Franz, I wouldn't pick Quantity either. Cause you can have so many tr unless you're like fucking Zaprosia and can walk through high attrition territory, but like suppose you're fighting France, right? And you need four five times as many troops as he does in order to win the battles. Then you would need to like have a two hundred four hundred size stack in one army, in one province. And then say you fight him in Languedoc, you need to march all the way to Ile de France. That's one, two, three, four, five provinces. Now you can't split your army up and they won't arrive on time so you, your army might get destroyed by the time like unless you sync it up perfectly your army will get destroyed like one of your 50 stacks will get destroyed before the other one arrives and that will completely ruin the entire process because then you, you, you just lose your battle. So you well let's let, let's just see look at this. You, you, you could be able to split your army say he has a uh, hundred thousand men so you would need 400 men, and you need to split that into three parts. Well, let's see. You, let's say you need 300 men just to make this a little easier. So then you would need to march 100,000 men through one, two, three, four, five provinces. One, two, three, four, five, six provinces. One, two, three, four, five, six provinces, and you would lose about, let's say, 20,000 men for every one of those three armies. So you're gonna lose like six, another sixty thousand men. It's a very inefficient way of fighting France. Yeah, you, you can take quantity as Prussia or Sweden, or if you have no other choice, like, if you're fighting, if you can't get manpower in any other way, in any reliable way, or you're fighting scrubs, like, uh, fucking fighting weak people, Then quantity is vastly superior. Also, if in a raw power game, a uh, thing would be better too. Quantity would be better as well. Like, if you had a nation that has quality and a nation that has quantity of equal size, the quantity one will win eventually, but it will cost more money. And it'd be a, a hassle for the country with quantity because he needs to manage a lot more shit. And it can go wrong, and he, he might lose his entire shit. So it's... I don't know. Yay! Course finished. I don't want much, I just want Grabunden and watch that. Quickly declare that war before they get to uh, before they get to join the coalition. Naturally, everyone and their mother joined that war.
pick these guys up on the side. Oh, here come the Swedes. Let's not play this on speed 5. I like how lucky I'm. How lucky I joined. You mean you're uploading nine videos? Because that's a bad idea. One more rebel stack in Greece? No. Nope. There are no rebel stacks in Greece, I don't know what you're talking about. He's recording 950. I know, but I don't want to undo them though, because then I need to, need to build all that shit again. Well, I guess I should. I guess I should do this. Now this is even better, having an army with 10,000 cannons and nothing else. And then having another army with no cannons at all. <laughs> ah, okay. That's good. Because your subscribers get a message every time you upload a thing and then if they don't watch all the shit that you upload they'll eventually stop getting messages or it'll stop showing up on their front page on YouTube because it's based on a percentage of how many of your videos they actually watch so you can fuck up your entire subscriber base by uploading too much which is uh... I don't like that the way that system works at all it's it's kind of lame. 
I think that's stupid. And on the other hand, you need to have a system of some sort. HRE wars, how I hate you so. Who am I at war with? Ugh, Sweden. And Flanders, too. Yeah. Ugh. Swear to God, HRE wars can suck my dick. I'm just gonna fall. Occupy a thing, Austria, and then wait for five years. That's probably the fastest way you can get this done. Especially with the new retreating rules. Can retreat to any province who uh, has access here. Uh, Now, it wouldn't be so bad if thingy worked. Um, detach siege, but it doesn't work. Just detach one cannon, and then enough troops to make it work, please. Swedish Superman. Got reinforcements though. <laughs> what? Wes said he's making a change so the AI can tell if you help them in wars. So if you don't help them, the bye bye alliance. <laughs> oh, really? That is horrible, though. That is absolutely horrible. Like, what? What? What would happen if you um, if you do help and, and like you don't want to fully commit, but if you like half commit? Do a half-assed way of helping someone, and then your alliance breaks because you didn't do well enough. <sighs> yeah, and what about if France sits there and does nothing? How about, how about AIs always breaking alliances with each other if they can't reach because AI nev refuses to use boats? <laughs> I, I don't like... I don't... Uh, if he can do it properly, it's a welcome change, but... I don't think he'll be able to do it properly. <laughs> I can see so many issues with that. They already succeeded? Are you kidding me, dude?
You gotta love having quality ideas. Defensive is really good at killing rebels, because it gives you morale. Quote from Bruce, the problem with making AI allies more selfish is that players don't find it very fun. But yes, yeah, situations like France sending half of its army overseas to help you out in some piddly colonial war is not ideal. Do not plan to make it harder for the player to be selfish. As of the next major patch, AI will know when you're sitting out their war and will be highly upset with you if they needed your help. So at like what? If they lose the war? <sighs> what a stupid idea. What if you only have 3,000 men? What if you only have 3,000 men and then... What if you pick quantity ideas, right? You pick quantity ideas, your force limit goes up the fucking boom boom, and then uh, the game will be like, well, you, you didn't send me your full force limit worth of troops, and you didn't commit them to to the battle, so so it's like, well, you kind of suck, because... Is I'm gonna cancel the alliance now because you didn't build up to your force limit. Even though if you were to build up to your force limit, you'd be bankrupt. So it's so the AI would be uh, upset with you because you didn't go bankrupt in order to help him if he lost the war. That I just don't see it working. I just don't see it working. I just like sitting out the war. Like uh, what? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I don't see it. Like, how would it be calculated? Would it be would it be based on your income? Like, is are you are you supposed to just like completely wreck your economy in order to help your allies now? If you want to keep, them? you know, allies were just shit anyway. Allies are crap. Right, and now we wait for five years until we've got full occupation on him. Unless we can somehow get Sweden out of the war. Now we can get Salzburg out. Oh, yes. I want my fucking imperial integrity, dude. Give me. <laughs> I just got my legitimacy back. Yeah, so... And they will anticipate players finding a way to game the system. So... Isn't 25... Princes, the thing. Yeah, as long as there are 25 princes. Wait, do you have claims on this shit? You do. Alliances are never one hundred percent on the thing each terms, but all right. I'll shut up about that. <laughs> they are making the game more enjoyable though if you were to put it on a on a craft the game is getting better but sometimes they make decisions 
that are crap and the backlash of that is so big because the game is so good if the game were shit there wouldn't be any backlash to speak of because there wouldn't be people and they see the graph and they're like oh the game's getting better and better and better all of our decisions must be right but that is not true <laughs> like they, they make certain decisions that are just stupid like the coalition plus 30 to our enthusiasm the only way a, a coalition war ends now is if either 40 years pass or you 100% them or they 100% you there is no middle way there is just no middle way or a rare case of a middle way being there so I just don't like that at all people that join a coalition must really love war so why do they hate you for aggressively expanding your empire it makes no sense to me why would you add that there is no need for giving coalitions more war enthusiasm. This is a pretty good Netherlands. Now all they need to do is a uh, heresy, as if we would call that Luti. It should be called Lauk. Oh my god. The German culture group. <laughs> Should be called Luke, not Lutig. No, coalitions are not fine. Coalitions are good, and the aggressive expansion is good, and the other stuff is good too. But the coalition war enthusiasm is total bullshit. And uh, the, the League War war enthusiasm is bullshit as well. Coalitions, coalition wars usually are so big that they, they last for a long time anyway. It's a very rare case where it's a short, short amount of time. But if you give them war enthusiasm plus... 30 but you can't even get down with like negative 20 warrant there's uh, war exhaustion is bullshit like there is no way that that is a thing say Austria was the leader in the coalition against me right now say that this was a coalition war he would have high war and th he would have high war uh, thingy Length of war plus 26, and then he would have another plus 60. Another plus 30. But he has 20 war exhaust. Okay, so so I suppose if you if you get someone to have negative 20 war exhaustion, that's the only way. But I've almost full occupied his shit for like five years. It's BS. I call bullshit on them too. Because it is stupid that they always end in a 100% matter now. There's no one that can keep up a war for like 20 years. I don't like that mechanic at all.
Oh god. Oh, Sweden's a low. Have I got war score on you? I do. Good times. Well, I can get a bit more war score on it. Kinda want my prestige back. Golf piece would be a hassle though. Oh shit, I can't make this deal. How much overextension do I got? 28%. Or I could wait for the course to finish. Uh, how much overextension would he be? No, we'll wait for the course to finish, otherwise I'll have to fight them a lot more times. I'm not willing to do that. Why is my game suddenly lagging? Yeah, I know. I noticed that. Oh my god, my game is lagging. Holy shit balls. Wait, Twitch is giving you ads? That is some bullshit. That is some bullshit. Twitch is giving you ads and it's well, that is that is quite lame. Cuz uh I'm just not gonna get my stat back. Because you can't get a partnership until you have 300 concurrent viewers. On average. So that's like every time you stream you have uh, 300 viewers. That stay for a while. Like what even is that? And it shouldn't give you ads. That's lame. It shouldn't give ads to people who aren't partnered with them, but uh, well, who am I to judge? Yay, we have fully westernized! Ooh. Hey, if this situation works for me, I get no ads and a clear conscience. Oh, we've lost the effects of Western's art trade. Ah. Oh. Shouldn't I like gain prestige from finishing Westernization? All right, Austria, time to be sour dog. Give me my claimers.
Okay. You know you can sort by Diplo point costs. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know that. But... What ifs? What ifs? Um, I usually pick religious, so I. Like... The cost is non-existent anyway. Oh man, I've been paying for. Uh... Georgia and Circassia all this time. God, I suck. Alright, time to go to war with Castile again, I think. 